high definition. Greetings, and welcome to my latest video. Um, sorry, I realize it's been a while since my last one, and I realize I seem to start off all my videos that way lately. <laughs> But the reason it's been so long in this case is because um, some pretty big things have been going on in the home video world over the past month or so. And um, I've wanted to talk about them as they were happening, but they happened so fast, I wasn't able to sort of gather my thoughts together in time to be able to talk about them when they were a little more relevant. I wanted to address some things that have been happening in the home video world. Now I realize I'm going to be talking a lot of tech talk, a lot of geek speak, so not everyone out there may be interested in watching this. I just want to get that out there in the open right away. Um, but for home video freaks like myself, you may find some of the things I'm going to say of, of interest and may want to uh, chime in with your own comments, questions, concerns, and uh, rebuttals. And please do, because I'm all for encouraging uh, discussion and uh, so forth through this fabulous new medium of online video. As most of you probably have been aware, over the past two years there has been a so-called format war going on with uh, one group of major companies versus another group of major companies all vying for our hard-earned consumer dollars to decide once and for all through a drop-down drag-out fight which disc format will be the new medium on which we will be able to enjoy high-definition movies, TV shows, and whatever other garbage they decide to sho shovel our way. After all the dust had settled, after all the nasty exchanges had been had by one side or the other, the clear winner, in the end, was Blu-ray. A lot of people are under the misconception that Blu-ray is a Sony format. Oh, evil Sony. Oh, hate Sony. I'm not going to support Blu-ray solely on the basis that it's a Sony product. You know what? Give it a rest with all the Sony bashing, okay? Sony has done more to encourage innovation in the home electronics industry than any other company on the face of the planet. I mean, people say, like, oh, well, Sony is the, you know, the, the, the creator of more failed formats than any other company in history. Did, did you actually hear what you were saying when you said it? Take out failed, and you're pretty close. Sony is the creator of more formats than any other company in history. So it stands to reason that not every one of those formats is going to be successful. So anyway, enough with the Sony bashing. It's old already. I'm not talking to you as a Sony fanboy, okay? I'm talking to you as a home video and video game enthusiast. And quite frankly, honestly, through my own personal experience, all hype, all propaganda aside, Sony has consistently delivered more quality products into my home than any other company. In fact, the camcorder I'm using to record this right now is a Sony camcorder. The only thing they really sucked at was Walkmans. God, their Walkmans were awful. And their Discmans? Terrible. I had a Sony Discman and it crapped out after less than a year of, of very light usage. I was very disappointed. But their camcorders, awesome. The PlayStation 1, 2, and 3, awesome. Blu-ray, awesome. <clears throat> to be quite honest, I'm, just, I'm sick of the whole Sony bashing thing. It's either a Sony bashing or Microsoft bashing, and it's just... It's irritating after a while, because people are, are basically just bellowing out their opinions, being completely emotional about it, and not actually looking at the facts. Not actually looking at information. Yeah, I know, Sony did the whole stupid, stupid rootkit thing. Those of you out there will know what I'm talking Who, you, Most of you out there will know what I'm talking about. Basically, where any music on the Sony label, you tried to play it on your computer, it would secretly install this rootkit thing that would make it uncopyable. Basically, spyware. And uh, boy, did they catch shit for that. And understandably, because I fully support that it was wrong. Wrong, wrong, bad, bad Sony. What were you thinking? It's going to take a long time before they recover their image from that, because that was just a fiasco. But you know what? The rootkit thing is done. It's over. It's gone. It's dead. They stopped. It's done. Enough of the rootkit thing.
format war. HD DVD versus Blu-ray. It went on for almost two years. That's all we would hear about is this bloody format war. It just kept going and going and going. HD DVD. It's the format that lost. The end. That's the gamble that you intentionally chose to participate in when you invested in one format or the other. So stop whining about it. It's just so frustrating to see people who basically just are so out of touch with the reality of a situation. You know, it's like you picked the losing side. Deal with it.